against Alfredo, who uh, was featured on the final round of Swiss. And yeah, John, you just saw a few minutes ago in the top eight round. Um, yeah, John with a surprisingly low creature count in his deck, but still managed to uh, do very well today. Uh, with a, <clears throat> as we actually saw last round, some very tight play with the combination of the cards in his hand. Uh, we saw a huge uh, amber swing in one turn with a combination of loot the bodies and pile of skulls and coward's end. Yeah, and ha happened to have the one damage creature he needed to <clears throat> dump all that captured amber on from pile of skulls. So it leads off with a mind barb here. Oh, it takes the terror. Well, the terror wasn't going to do that much anyway because the mind barb gave yeah, John one amber. amber, but still, ter the terror is my favorite card to mulligan into if I'm playing first. So that might make uh, Deese the less obvious play, I suppose. <clears throat> hmm. I was thinking of playing a straight-up Poison Wave just to get the Amber, followed by a Bad Penny. Cycle some of the cards out of his hand. Uh, looks like a decent Mars hand for the next turn, perhaps. We're going to have to be a little bit more quiet yeah. now because... Uh, Starts with a War Song. Yeah. Not really going to matter, probably. But... Oh, that card's going to be annoying. Here's where you play Bad Penny six times after dying. So I think someone was playing a Gauntlet of Command and treating it like an anger. <laughs> the, the art is very similar, actually. I, I find that uh, yeah, there's a couple of factions where the art can be difficult to distinguish. Like a lot of the Brobnars kind of are roughly similar. Well, Sanctum is a bunch of people in armor with different poses, yeah. but they've all got like a, I don't know. <clears throat> So the, the Pingle turns off Bad Penny, basically, right? I wonder if there's any way for Alfredo to capitalize on that. Like if the, he has any triggers for Bad Penny coming into play. That doesn't matter, no. though, because he mean, plays in... If he had a witch, witch then you'd feel pretty good about it. Yeah. Hunting witch? Hunting witch, yeah. yeah. And you can only do it six times, because you cap, cap the number of times you can do the same thing in a turn. But, you know, getting a key's worth of amber is never really a bad thing. There's an early reverse time for John. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think he wanted to get the stuff back, so it's not a bad yeah, play. Yeah, notice he's playing a bunch of Brobner cards out. I feel like that's that's his point here. Well, the other thing is if you can <coughs> seed your deck with a lot of the same faction, then yeah. going into that reverse time is really strong. I think that's what he's trying to do here, yeah. Yeah. Bounces a Ganger Chieftain, plays it again. With uh, with only 12 creatures and 13 creatures in John's deck, he's got to make the most out of them. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Fredo has an awkward... Uh, well, no, that's not a rise, sorry. That's a control the weak. He's going to choose Mars here, starting with a Mother Gun. And uh, plays the Combat Pheromones beside it. All right, not, not a huge turn, but setting up his board. Yeah, knowing when to, when to cycle through your deck is important. That's uh, one of the Maverick cards that he just drew. The uh, champion Anafiel, I want to say, is the guy's name. Yes. <clears throat> Meanwhile, John on Mono Brobnar here, uh, playing a uh, unguarded camp to capture two Amber from Alfredo, and uh, getting lots of work out of this Gauntlet of Command. Using it as a pseudo reap engine as long as Alfredo doesn't have any creatures on the board. Alfredo's been cycling through his deck to try to get a big turn of any one house, but it seems like every time he draws back up, he's always getting like a mix of like two of each house in his hand. I mean, I think he has to go decent. <clears throat> 
Control the weak is not a bad play here. I don't know the rest of his these characters. Like, the set of rise there, it's not really a good play right now. So starts with the toxin, then plays uh, Control the weak. I uh, don't know what he called. Probably not Grobnar. <laughs> could be wrong. I just realized that we could probably actually hear people this time yeah. now that everyone's so quiet. John actually has a pretty good Logos hand. So maybe uh, Alfredo made him choose that. So he's not, yeah, so it was control the week to Logo, so he's not feeling bad about that call. Oh, it does it reverse time first. Oh, that, this, okay, this makes sense. Yeah, it's, that's just like a deck full of Brabner cards. That, that's going to be perfect with his wild wormhole into like a Brabner card, I suppose. See what he pulls. Ooh, brothers in battle. That's really good. Yeah. Now he he can't use them. He can't reap with these guys. No. But he can kill the toxin off with a ganger chieftain. He might actually. Oh, we got to be quiet. Okay. Because I can hear us. Okay. Oh, no, I can hear us because video. Uh... Oh. I think if, Never mind. I someone think if they someone rebooted us. our Twitch window and did not yeah. stop the stream. So that's why I could hear us in the background. He played the Positron Bolt, right? Yeah. Knowledge is power. Looks like he's going to archive a... I think that was an Eater of the Dead he just archived there. And uh, look at this. He's, his deck is almost all Brobnar, so he's going to have a pretty good Brobnar turn next turn, I think. <clears throat> Controlling his opponent's board very well. Meanwhile, Alfredo's still struggling a little bit to get something uh, on the board stuck. Like, something sticking on the board, rather. Oh, Shadows. Good old bad penny. Well, at least it's a combo with Secret Needle. Gonna use Silver Tooth to reap. That puts him at one amber shy of check. Still drawing a bunch of combinations of cards, unfortunately. Oh yeah. War song. <laughs> Pingle. And yeah, and guarded camp again. John's been on point with his Brobnar play. Um, he steals one, right? Well, no, he should steal on everyone. Isn't it for each one in excess that you control? Oh yes, yeah, right, that's right. Yeah. yeah, right. So kills off the silver tooth with the uh, smat. No, what, what was that guy? Yeah, I mean, he could have he could have killed something before he did his own dirty camp. That's true. Yeah, you're right, Travis. He did that. Um, he did that out of order. He could have stolen two more amber. Doing the classic gauntlet command trick to uh, oh, so ready and steal. John's got to be careful. Well, he doesn't, he wouldn't know Alfredo has Shatterstorm. And I don't think Alfredo drew the Shatterstorm, but it would be devastating here. I think John has a coward's end of his hand now, but it's not useful because everything's coming in, hitting, but getting hit by Pingle. <clears throat> There's Zizix and the champion. John's got to remember to trigger the pingle. So oh, no, this is, pingle. sorry, this is a mother gun activation. Yes. My bad. Now he's going to play these guys out. Has a combat pheromone, so you can use the... Uh... Wow, I accidentally clicked both of those at the same time. I didn't mean to. I got lucky and hit the bolter. Okay. 
I'm, I was actually mistaken. It's not a, this is just the menu, right? It's the Ixlo Bolter. That's something John's going to have to deal with right now. I mean, it's not going to be that hard, but he's going to have to trade one of his creatures to do it. But now... This is, he, is he thinking about cowards ending just must, two guys? Yeah, absolutely, why not? I guess so. And then you get to reap three more times. John's at two uh, keys right now, by the way. Right. <clears throat> He's very aggressive with his sweepers, I've noticed. Well, no, that's... Just, uh, no, that's not just this game, but like yeah. the previous game, too. Uh, brothers in battle, just to gain the amber, he's going to reap twice, use the uh, gauntlet command. I don't think I've ever seen that gauntlet command today being used for anything other than writing a creature to reap it, reap with it. <laughs> There's another sweeper in John's hand. Can't wait at these to draw. He's on check. This might be a quick one. Alfredo does have an urchin to steal that... Uh, that amber, which he does. Then uh, plays the skirmish poison, uh, followed by a bad penny. Does the old seeker needle bad penny trick to get another amber. All right, finally it's starting to look like uh, Alfredo's drawing more of one house. Seems like a decent Dees turn coming up, uh, provided uh, John gives him the time to do it. Wouldn't be surprised to see a, <laughs> see a gateway to Dees here soon, maybe. Although I wonder if you just uh, you just you just uh, reap twice. Yeah, reap three. Yeah, reap twice. Reap twice and kill uh, Urchin, I guess. Or sorry, no, not Urchin. We kind of saw that coming. <laughs> yeah. He, he might have an amber card here. I'm not sure. I, I, I might just tr have tried to get myself into the range of the last. Yeah, you see. Now, now it's on. Uh, it's back on uh, oh, yeah, that's Alfredo. Fine. Never mind. If you have enough cards you can play for amber, then... I don't know if there's anything in... I think he might have needed that to. Oh, oh no. well, it does forge a key that's going to put him at one. Alfredo still has that arise, so if there's something in his uh, discard pile that's a dece. Well, no, but I mean, with the pandemonium, like he would have liked to have been able to get all his dece character creatures, yeah, pull it out. That that pandemonium pan would have been the best way to slow him down. That, that mind barb is huge. Then in that case, that it might have actually sealed the deal for him, right? Oh, right. Remembers to take the bad penny back to the hand. Just double checking, making sure that he has no, no option here. Yeah, doesn't have the these creatures he might need. Bad penny, seeker needle. Then he's going to play out the bad penny again. Play one last job, right? But then what? It's not enough. That's not enough. He's just. He's just playing it out to make sure. Yeah. It's a shame. So close. This is a game. The uh, imposter, the imposter beer flute deck wins. Yes. <laughs>